Hello and welcome back. Today we have another £200 worth of 10p's we're hunting through, looking for those alphabet 10p's or territory coins, world coins, things like that. Ideally though, we'd love some more 2019 alphabet 10p's. We've never completed the book. So far we've got A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L and M. Oh dear. You can get back in the book. N, O, runaway O, P, R, uh, yep. T, U, V and X. That's all the 2019s that we've got so far. We've also started another 2018 book because the 2019s are so low minted and hard to find. We have got, uh, this is our third 2018 book, which we're making okay progress in. So far we've got A, E, F, G, H, I, K, L and M, N, Q, P, S, T, U, V, X and Y. So let's get into these bags, see what we find today. Okay, so we're going to be going through some comments recently left on my videos. If you get a random love and like from me on one of your comments, but no response, it's probably because I've taken a screenshot of it and we'll be using it in a future Q&A video. Uh, before we get to the questions and comments, though, first off, just a reminder, uh, it's very, very short notice now, but I will be at the Royal Mint Experience tomorrow, which will be the 20th of October. I'm on the 2 p.m. tour, so if you want to come along and say hi, uh, it'd be great to meet some subscribers there. Right, we're going to start with who knows not me. Um... Ooh, I like that. Is it, is, it, is, it the, is it the David Bowie line? But anyway, um, 812, wasn't it announced? Oh, that's a, a, a timestamp in the video. Wasn't it announced in July that no coins are being ordered by the Treasury to mint this year? Which would mean no Charles £2 or 2Ps until at least 2025, unless the Royal Mint still produce coins uh, for long storage anyway. It's a very good question, um, and it's really tricky. So yes, there was uh, all this news about no coins have been ordered for 2024 um, um, uh, a few months ago now, and there was a big furore about, is this the end of coins in the UK? Um, I, I, well, the, the honest answer is I don't know. Uh, we, we don't know. We, we won't know until mintage figures uh, are announced. But what I would say at the start of 2024 when I visited the Royal Mint experience uh, and I think it was in January Grossi came along as well they were um, packaging up um, two pence coins uh, that's what the tour guide said that over there bags of two pence coins which are being have been minted and being bagged up and we were far enough into January that I felt that they couldn't be 2023 data ones they must have been minted in 2024 so I, I, I just I <laughs> unless the tour guide was mistaken and they were other coins because they were a bit about I don't know five or six meters from us so we couldn't actually see that they were two pence coins but they did look like two pence coins so I don't I, I don't know but I wouldn't be surprised if we do get some coins minted for 2024 what they are how many are minted is anyone's guess at the moment um, we'll have to wait and see but uh, I would love to know the answer to that too right Andy says I have a standing order for the Beatles series. Will this include the completer? It's a very, very good question, um, and one that I don't, again, know the answer to. Um, I would imagine probably not. I would uh, I would go in with the assumption that it doesn't, but um, uh, then double check your orders to make sure you're not ending up with two of them because you don't want that to happen. But I think if you have the standing order, because I pre-ordered the Bond series as well, um, it will appear in your orders list uh, as to uh, whether the one has been assigned to you uh, when it gets released or not but uh, it's probably something I should ask um, ahead of time because we don't want it to be a really popular sellout coin that I've then missed because assuming it was on standing order so yeah not sure on that one but I'm excited to see it though okay Iris Ferguson says OMG I just shunted a whole tin of 2p's into my bank account ah don't trigger me so this is on my, the unhuntables videos that I do with Grossi the, the first one actually two pence coins um I wouldn't feel too aggrieved I mean Grossi and I have both hunted through lots and lots and lots of two pence coins and we haven't found anything of extraordinary value so far um even I think if, if, even if we found an NIFC, one of those dates that weren't minted for circulation, it's not going to be worth a humongous amount of money if you were to say list it on eBay and try and sell it. Um, I guess what would be ex a valuable would be a 1983 new pence, two pence, because um, obviously by 1983 it should say two pence, not new pence. But um, that is probably the only thing that's really, really valuable amongst the two pence coins that. Um, yeah, so I, w I wouldn't be concerned that like you probably haven't thrown anything into circulation that is uh, valuable, fingers crossed. 
Right, Charlie Wright says, sadly my bank was closed down in my area as I can't 50p hunt. Um, oh, I totally, I totally sympathise with you. Um, it's been oh, crumbs. Uh, it's going to be about. It's just, it's just coming up to the second anniversary of the the last bank in uh, my town having closed. Uh, we have got a banking hub, but it doesn't. It's not really that all that helpful. Um, so I do have to travel to go get my coins, and it is a, a frustration. It's only 20 minutes down the road, but that's 40 minute round trip. That's an hour of my morning that I lose if I or my my afternoon whenever I'm going. Um, just to pick up the coins so it is a uh, yeah not ideal and it's a sad state um, for those that don't know I used to work in retail banking um, I, I, I worked for a bank for a number of years and I finished off as a, a bank manager in, a, in, one, in, uh, in one branch and I had a great time working for them I really liked it because their strapline was local banking for local people it was all about having banks having branches for local people to come to um, and that, that was many many moons ago I worked for them um, six or seven years ago um, and now they've closed a third of their branches at the last time I, I, I saw a third of their branches, including most of the branches that I actually worked at uh, over my, t my time working for the bank. So it was really, really, it's really, really sad to see that's the state because, again, I'm fortunate enough that I can travel, I can drive, um, I, can, uh, I can still access uh, banks. But those of the, those in society who can't travel easily, uh, my grandmother... Um, uh, before she passed away comes to mind who has to he used to have to catch 25 minute bus journey uh, to the next um, town to go to her bank um, and it was always a, it, as she got older it was a struggle for her um, as it as it would be for anyone um, um, that can't travel so yes uh, it's frustrating and I don't really know what the answer is to that because I mean having worked in banking footfall is was always massively down uh, over the years but anyway let's hope we get a positive one Kevin Young says the term you're looking for is mega fauna and all of the animals that you named once lived in the uk so yes i'm really really grateful for your comment there kevin um so this is in regards to the three next dinosauria series coins mega fauna coins so there's the mammoth the woolly rhinoceros and the giant deer um and what what i liked about the first uh, first six of the dinosaur coins that we got to they were all fossils of dinosaurs there were dinosaurs that have been discovered in the uk um, the following three uh the t-rex uh, for certain was has never been found in the uk uh, i think the diplodocus hadn't either and i think the stegosaurus had so one of the three had been discovered in the uk and it all comes back to we mint british things on british coins um and i feel if that if that keeps slipping the royal mint will just turn into one of these other um, mass tat producers minting whatever they think that they can sell onto the coins and I think part of the prestige of the Royal Mint is taking, taking it a bit more seriously with what you're producing uh, you don't want to just create endless amounts of garbage that uh, um, dilutes the brand effectively um, and my concern with these latest three was have they are they just going now going down the list oh, anything dinosaur-y um, we'll just we'll just make all the coins about them and um, after your comment I did have a look uh, I did look it up and all three of those mega fauna creatures um, have been discovered in the UK which I think is great I think it's great to get we use our British coins to celebrate British things and we can although the creatures weren't British they were found in what is now Britain or have been found in uh, in the UK which I think is great um, and so I'm excited to see what they look like because again the last three although I am a bit uh, not as excited wasn't as as pleased with the fact that they just they're just doing dinosaurs not just not looking for that british tie-in and um, the fact that these the, the, they did have they had did have really nice designs and i love the sort of background uh, sky uh, the sort of mottling effect and hopefully they can do something really exciting with these um mega fauna creatures um that are probably coming out next year i reckon right maverick says all the profiteers are out in force i see ebay must have 199,999 salmon 50p coins on right now mug if you pay the asking for one it's not even a commemorative coin uh, we'll just blend into the background eventually when they all get minted okay <laughs> i need to be careful what i say about the salmon 50ps because um um <laughs> Uh, although I thought they, they could be low minted, I didn't think, and there was not a moment thought that they could be as low minted as they have turned out to be, 200,000. Um, 
yeah so um whenever things are new or this information first gets released about how rare and scarce they are uh, there are other people who are just like i want it now i need it now i'll have it now money is no boundary i will pay what it takes to get this to me so that's what's caused them to skyrocket to absolutely crazy prices um i would tend to agree that i don't think they're going to hold at this 150 around the 150 pound mark i think uh, like you said they are a definitive coin there will be more atlantic salmons minted but well there should be more atlantic salmons minted in subsequent years assuming there is a demand for more 50 p's um the more that get minted the more salmons that are out there um the less exciting the 2023 one will be the 2023 one i think will always have a bit of a margin um but i don't think it's going to be quite uh, to the 100 150 pounds that it is at the moment um because i think lots of collectors would just be happy with one salmon not everyone collects all the different years and variations um so um i don't know I, uh, are you are you a mug if you buy it not really i mean that's the buy that is the market price at the moment um if you want one and you're willing to spend that um that's up, done entirely up to you but uh, i wouldn't be buying it at the prices they are at now hoping to make a profit in the future uh, i think it's only down from here now obviously if in 2024 and 2025 or maybe even 2026 there is no demand for 50 p's uh, there is no additional salmons uh, that get added into um, circulation then it'll hold its price for longer but i think all that needs to happen is we find out that 10 million of the 10 million salmons were minted in 2024 and we'll start seeing seeing the prices come down but um like i said we, we don't know the answer to that question we are only, we all we can do is speculate right now and if you agree with me or you disagree with me uh, it could go either way or could land somewhere in between uh, and we shall wait and see uh, exactly where that lands in the future that being said though let's get back to the coin and see what i found so there we go, our finds for today. No alphabet 10 Ps, but an assortment of interesting things. We've got two from Gibraltar, uh, the Great Seas, one in much nicer condition than the other has to be said. Are they both the same year? I forget. This is a different, uh, both in 2006, this one here, which is very, very nice. Um, a couple more. This is Guernsey, 1992. Very good vintage, if I say so myself. And then Jersey, 2016. So, a nice little round of the territories and crown dependencies. Now, these two I pulled out, um, they're just in very, very nice condition um, for circulated coins. It makes me wonder. So, one of these, uh, this one here, there's a bit of yellowiness to it as well, which you tend to see on the sort of brilliant uncirculated packs, that sort of yellowy staining from the plastic. Um, I can't really replicates it to show you on the video i think it's picking up some of the yellow of the uh, towel mat on the floor on the floor on the desk um so yeah i'm not so i just thought that again this one i think looks even better um it's in such nice condition um again i don't think it's gonna add any sort of huge amount of value to it they're just sort of stuck out like a sore thumb in amongst all the other ones that are in circulated condition but uh, no i really like that but there's also this one so oh, bits of my, my desk off right so i noticed I, I was looking at this side of the coin when i flicked through and i thought oh what's going on there there's a, absolutely no rim and then you look at this side there's a much thicker bit of rim there and then if we flip it over you can see the same problem reversed and it looks even more striking um on this side of the coin here so um it's like I, don't, I can't remember what exactly what, it, what, what kind of error this would uh, be called is it an, an off center strike or just an error with the collar um the blank is having not moved uh, one side and it's spread spread out the other I'm, I'm not totally sure and convinced on what the terminology of what this is but um and i don't think it's again i don't think it's drastic enough that it's going to add a huge amount of value to it but it did again much like those um really shiny ones stuck out uh, from the crowd so I did grab that one as well but uh, no, so a nice little selection of things now if you unlike I have have found an alphabet 10p in your change or in your coin hunts this week let us know what letter you found and where you found it just to reassure the rest of us there's still alphabet 10p's out there which are worth hunting for and looking for and um, let me know what you think about these shiny ones and this uh what, 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 what kind of error would you call this errors are not my speciality I'm very bad with uh remembering um <laughs> what errors are what but uh 
um, if you can help me out in the comments with a suggestion that'd be much appreciated um, as usual you'll find links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting discord server if you'd like to come and join me on that there are also links to my other social media channels uh, the PO box address if you want to write in to me and of course a link to the Britannia coin company YouTube channel the company I work for as my day job so please check them out too all it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye